I'm Ron Wolfley of Arizona Sports 620, and welcome to another edition of the Big Red Wolf Report here on ArizonaSports.com. The Arizona Cardinals defeated the St. Louis Rams last week at University of Phoenix Stadium 30-10. After winning their first division game since the first game of 2012, the record now stands at 8-5. Big Red is in the playoff hunt with three games to go and are preparing to play the Tennessee Titans in Nashville this Sunday. Let's examine the carnage of last week and pull it through the prism of the Tennessee Titans. But suffice it to say, the onus is on the offense to play well, protect the ball, and win this game. I can't see the Titans offense running roughshod over Big Red's defense, and because of that, the offense has got to show up. Point number one, protect Carson Palmer. When you consider some of the picks we've seen from Carson Palmer this year and juxtapose those throws with how well he threw the ball against St. Louis, it's like watching two different people. But even when Palmer was throwing a lot of picks in the first half of the season, he was still making enough big time throws to win some games. Since the first half of the season, Palmer has looked more and more comfortable. And there is a direct correlation between Palmer's improvement and Palmer's protection. After watching film against the Rams in their high-powered pass rush, the Cards definitely had their best game in protection. And protecting Carson Palmer is the key to the Cards offense. Carson Palmer threw the ball with a rhythm and timing we haven't seen all season. The Titans have an average pass rush. Darrell Casey leads the team with nine sacks and is an excellent interior rusher. Darren College, Paul Fanica, and Lyle Sunline will need to be at their best on Sunday. Point number two. Even though it's a dicey proposition against the Rams and their great pass rush, going with an empty set against the Titans should be an important changeup for Arizona. B.A. likes using this formation because it gets Palmer focused and thinking, clears up the box and identifies where potential blitzers are coming from, and it's designed to get the ball out of Palmer's hands quickly. It is, in effect, the Cardinals' quick game or quick passing game attack. The Cards use this formation with restraint against St. Louis, but to great effect as well. Tripp's formation with either a tight end or receiver in the hip position Chipping on Robert Quinn and Chris Long will be back on Sunday against the Titans. Bradley, Saul, and company were able to hold up against the number three pass rush in the league and should be able to duplicate that performance again. Point number three. Three. Protect the ball. Carson Palmer is on a roll. In the first eight games of the season, Palmer threw 14 picks. In his last five games, he has thrown only three. And the Cardinals have won five of their last six games. That's how important it is for Palmer to protect the ball. Although the Titans aren't great at generating interceptions, they are a ball-hawking team and have generated 20 takeaways on the year. It's getting redundant, but the facts don't lie. Protect Carson Palmer, and he will protect the ball. Move Palmer off his spot, get pressure on him, he will struggle. For ArizonaSports.com and Arizona Sports 620, I'm Ron Wolfley, hoping your forehead never looks like a Neanderthal's.